My name is Lincoln McMean. I'm Brian Elam. I'm Garrett Yours. We're here to talk about asteroids, meteors, and comets. Thursdays and teaching teams thing on Thursdays and Sundays and they just paying us the Snickers. But you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do the science thing, man. We got the telescope for so they should. Okay, there goes the moon, there goes Orion's belt. What's, what's that blanket right there between? Is that an asteroid? That's an asteroid. Oh my god, I found an asteroid. Oh my god, I found an asteroid. What is it about asteroid? Hold on, wait, wait. It said asteroids are made of rock or metal. Asteroids typically travel in a slightly elliptical orbit around the sun in the same direction as the Earth. and be anywhere from a few meters to a thousand kilometers. Oh man. I gotta call Brian Elam. Hello? Give me Brian Elam, please. <coughs> Hi, this is Brian Elam here at Channel 3 Weston News. And about 24 hours ago, we just received a call from a Lincoln McMean here in Atlanta, Georgia, saying that he is seeing through his telescope an asteroid that is on its way to destroy planet Earth. He believes it is coming for the West End to be specific. And actually, with further research from our scientists, we believe that it's closer to a meteor. Now, meteors are ice or uh, pieces of rock with um, white streaks around them entering the Earth's atmosphere. And the meteoroid is the rock inside of those streaks, and the, it is called a meteorite when it enters the Earth's atmosphere. In the past 10 hours, our scientists have been working very diligently with our artists to come up with the most accurate depiction of what we believe Lincoln saw when he looked through his telescope, and here's our drawing for that. And with, uh, with more information, we have Dr. Garrick Ewers on the line. Doctor. Oh, are we on right now? We're, we're oh, alive. we're on red lights on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, buddy. I was just trying to get my last supper in real quick. Um, as you all are aware, there is a meteor heading towards the West End. Um, I'd advise you all to be very scared, you know, hide your wives, hide your kids. It's a meteor coming towards the West End. But upon further speculation, we actually believe it is not a meteor that is coming. It is actually a comet. Comets, while similar in size to meteors and asteroids, they're generally smaller, and they are characterized by the particles of ice that are coming off of the comet as it goes down towards its destination, and it actually causes that white tail known as a coma that you all see when you see a shooting star. Um, hold on real quick. Hello? Hey, baby, what's up? <clears throat> yeah, I'm at work right now. Yeah, I told you I'm gonna do that when I get home. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do that. You can do that. You know, since it's our last day, the kids, uh, we'll, we'll send them somewhere. You know, somewhere. Mhm. Mm All right, hold on, hold on. Somebody else call me. Hello. It's a what? Wow. Are you serious? Are you sure? I can't believe it. Okay, I'll tell everybody. I have great news, everybody. It is actually not a comet that is heading towards the West End. It is actually a cricket that was on Lincoln McMean's telescope the night that he discovered it. Um, we are all very pleased to hear this. You can all be safe and go on to your steady lives and make sure that you are all safe in your endeavors. We actually have a response from Lincoln McMean himself that he texted to me directly. In this very lengthy apology, he states why he said what he did and about his apologies regarding the situation. His answer, verbatim, is, my bad. So that is all, everybody. I will be rejoicing with my boo, as you all should too. <laughs>